Welcome to Wick, a game where you play or a platforming game where you play as a cute little candlestick. It looked interesting and I thought to give it a go, so let's get into it. It's scary. Very scary. I might shit my pants. Okay, I might shit my <gasps> Maybe I'll piss my pants and a little bit of cum as well. Okay, so... Uh, the guy who grabbed us died of fucking leprosy. Uh, are we saddened by his death? Was he our owner? Maybe. Well... I look like we're taking a shit. I guess this is where we rejuvenate our wax, maybe? Maybe. Alright. Oh. Okay. Gene Wick is always melting. Regain your wax at the wax pools. Okay. Always melting. I can. Oh, I can sprint and he uses more fire, but then it's gonna use a lot more wax. Yeah. Must rejuvenate my wax. Oh, so what is this over here? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Hold shift to grow your flame and run faster. Just not sure how fast the rejuvenation is. Is like, is it instant when I land on the wax? Not exactly sure. Let's see, like, let's try to use the wax a lot. We're shrinking. You can see it incrementally happen. Ah. Uh, okay, it's... Basically, it's... The wax erects pretty... <laughs> pretty, pretty fast, I guess you could say. And it has those uh, particle effects when it's happening. Yeah. That doesn't kill us? Oh. No! Well, wait, that's how it starts? As long as that's not how it ends. If that's how it ends, that, like, thanks for playing the demo. Uh, games are like that these days. I'd imagine if though using the tool that puts the fire out, I'd imagine... Wait, I just simply died? Okay, but now we have the tool. Okay, so how do we use it? The game should probably tell us. Oh, okay. Let's see if there's anywhere else we can go. Extend! Erect. I'll, I'll use the word erect. It just, it just sounds better, you know? Well, we'd be going this way instead. Sneak. Ha. Huh. Boop. Too stubby! We gotta run! Okay. Okay, mostly! The bitch was reaching under the chair! <laughs> uh. 
Oh. Press Q to make. Oh god, to make buddy bees. Wait, what? To make a buddy use the air. No oh god. Press Q. Okay. Let's go. Uh, uh, uh. This way. Uh. Maybe. Are we going up this chair? Hit. Yeah. Ah. I'm good at platforming. What can I tell you? Other YouTubers probably had trouble. Uh, okay. So they grabbed a little our little buddy and we sacrificed them. Okay, let's go over. Oh. Wait, why are we so stubby now? No dying. We must erect our candle wax. Okay, we're plenty erect now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Easy. I'm a pro. Game is kind of rewarding me a lot of candlestick checkpoints. Jeez, okay, well. I, it's not like I needed any skill to do all that. Maybe it should be like a mini game when you gotta light shit. Like you gotta use the mouse cursor or something. Yeah. And fully erect. Moving on. Uh -huh. Gene and his buddies light attract le legions of Mara. The fuck are the floaty things? Okay, let's make a buddy. Okay. Where'd my buddy go? I guess my buddy just died or something. Went off the screen and then just vanished. Yeah, that fireplace looking good. Mosquito things? What the fuck is that shit? Fuck that. Stupid bugs started attacking me when I had the thing on my head. How stupid. Gonna have to maybe sacrifice or use a buddy. Yeah, let's let's test it out. Ah, huh? oh, they respawn. That's annoying. Okay. So, tracking their attention... Hmm. If I'm on the wax, it can't kill me, but having it so they sacrifice themselves by attacking me... Eh, it's not much of a point. Might as well just do the sacrifice here. Oh, the fire's already lit still. Come on. Oh, and he's dead. Looks like the fire was still lit, though, the fireplace-wise. Alright. Okay, are we going on the table or not? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Maybe. Yeah. I could maybe try, but I don't think there's a point, really. Is there a wax over here? Is 
Irritating fucking bugs. Hey, fuck off. Serious? Serious? Didn't the game say something about the fire attracts them? And I have like a, a fucking cup on my fucking head, but they're still attacking me? Gene and his buddy's light attracts. What fucking light? When I had the fucking cover on, huh? I'm gonna have to assume I have to attract and use the buddy as bait. And make them go somewhere else. Because even apparently with this cup on, they're attracted to the supposed light I'm giving off. If they said heat or heat source, I would understand what the fuck they're talking about. Alright, so in all these situations, we're gonna make a buddy. And you're gonna use him as bait. There we go. And then our primary dude, we're just gonna... Good. That's how we're going to go through all this. Come on, over here. Yeah, yeah. Stupid fucking bugs. There we go. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should send our buddy first, just in case. Hey, buddy. Go on. Go on. Yeah, that's you, you first. Hmm. Well, what's to the left, though? Mm -hmm. I must find out. Uh, wall! Just wall. Alright. Alright, little buddy. Seems okay. Ah, oh, it's bugs again. Just them adding those kind of bugs makes it the game a little bit annoying. We can't light these candles for any sort of form of light, but we can replenish our health. Shouldn't need this anymore. Oh, shit. Speak of the fucking devil. No. No. Ooh. Apparently I'm being called. Wait, what? Nope. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Gotta make a buddy. Gotta make a buddy. Make a buddy, buddy. Make a buddy. Capture the buddy. See ya. Maybe I'll just move to the next area. We gotta get wax before we die. Do you fucking mind? Okay, fuck off. Let me. Fully erect. That ah, shit. Uh, 
Yeah. You know. Just take and fucking leave. I'm just gonna. Oh my god, seriously. Yeah. Come on, hit me quickly. Okay. And we're moving. Nice. Don't want to go. Oh. No. Fuck you. No fucking candle for you. So, what? Well, what is this bitch exactly? And why did the person before die of leprosy? I have many questions. None of them are really important. The fact that this bitch is just everywhere... Everywhere I'm going is... weird. I'm just a single fucking candle. Like, seriously, wh why the fuck is this bitch tormenting me? And why is there globs and globs of wax... wax... Uh, littered all around this area? Bitch, please! Relentless. I don't even know where the fuck she is. Uh-oh. Okay, maybe, maybe we can move. Just gotta figure out where we're going. Might have to distract her with a little buddy. Neat, 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 neat. No! God! That's close. Thank God for this bench thing. I can barely see. Like, am I meant to go this way? No. This bitch is just standing my way. Okay, um... Let's make a little buddy. Do, 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 do. Make him another one. Okay, wait. Maybe, maybe we gotta do it properly here. Bitch is just desperate for a candle. <laughs> See how skilled I am at this game? Zero deaths. And I did all that with 100% accuracy. Oh my god, the bugs again. Ugh. Come on, no! Come. Fucking hate these bugs. If I were to say anything, the bugs make the game... ...less enjoyable. Like, I didn't even see the bugs, and then suddenly I was attacked by the bugs. That time was fine, but we need more candles. Oh, well, there's one. God damn it. Am I meant to go in that area? Need wax. He's just standing around the fucking wax pile. Come on. Come on. Fucking really? 
Okay, well, she's busy, I guess. Or I die. I don't know if, I, if they want me to go through the door she came from, or to the just like move right like it's a 2D platformer. But being that the wax is in that one spot of the room... Um, just... Nope. Oh, fuck me. Come on. Why is this stupid bitch obsessed? Okay, well, at least I returned there. Wait, no, is this some previous area? But, like, bugs wise? Oh, no. Well, that's weird. This bitch is obsessed with putting out fire. It's just stupid. It makes no sense. Why the obsession? <sighs> no, it's kind of annoying. Only because it makes no sense. The, like, the, the obsession. It's just like. And where am I traveling to? Is there an objective that makes the adventure feel worthwhile or not? What? Oh. Huh. Just like... Catacombs and dead people and graves, but what's the adventure for? Like, I know what I'm running away from, but what's the goal? What is the character pursuing and why why does he want to reach where he's going? I mean, he, he doesn't even, he just go well can't see shit, man. He, she's just standing there, man. Can you, like, fuck off? Maybe. God damn it. Fucking bitch. Get distracted. It's like a new iPhone. Fuck off. Perhaps I would be more interested if I knew what my purpose of living and existing, where was I, where am I going, what's the point? I need a point to the adventure. Like if our leprosy dude died, maybe he was, come on, yeah, yeah, yeah. For all my trials and tribulations, all my suffering, being chased by some obsessive, stupid fucking demon shadow woman, he wants to put out my flame obsessively for no reason. I need an objective. I, I need a reason for my- oh my- I need a reason for this suffering! Ah! Especially annoying mosquitoes. Ugh. It's such an annoying enemy type. Look at that. Everyone hates mosquitoes. And there... And there... Can I just... Can I... Can I maybe just sprint? Yep, okay. Thank God. Can't even light the cobwebs on fire. Shake my head. See, why is the bitch obsessed? Why does she always know where the fuck I am? This hyper awareness is like aimbot in fucking CSGO. I need a reason why she's fucking obsessing over me.
Yeah, fuck you, bitch. I just, I keep going and going. I don't know, maybe I'm the only one who's gonna whine and, or complain, but I was like, what am I doing this for? Maybe it has like a fucking, like, goddamn... I was gonna say Patrick Harris, but no. Have, uh... Okay, well, fuck the stairs. I'm going the easy way. What am I thinking about? Shit. Man, I can't even remember the actor I was thinking about, the Star Trek guy. The guy who plays Picard. I can't remember his god the actor's real name now. I'm just like, wait, what? Uh but yeah, have the guy who plays Picard in Star Trek do a fucking narration like he did in goddamn Oblivion. The little candlestick moving forward in his goal to find a new owner who has leprosy too. Oh. Huh? Oh. Does the bitch get to die now? Because they lit too many candles. Yeah, fuck you, I guess. Oh, okay. Worthless enemy, didn't even have boss music. Was this like a full game or just like a demo of the first level? I'm confused. Like, was it legit a full game? I thought it was like playing like a demo, honestly. I'm, I'm gonna have to look it up. Wick is a suspense thriller where you play as a small candle in the ruins of a dark, oppressive cathedral. Though the halls are littered with victims of mysterious plague, you are not the only soul left. Use the properties of a candle, a few tricks, and a trusty doubter to prevent yourself from being discovered. Join Gene Wick. Definitely not to be confused with John Wick. In his quest to restore hope, I mean, if you want to be a Gene Wick as a reference to John Wick, give us guns and be able to shoot the bitch in the face. Uh, in his quest to restore hope to a dying world by carrying on a dead monk's mission to fill the cathedral with light, use Jean's doubter and a mix of waxy tricks to avoid being detected by Mara, a nun who succumbed to despair as she tried to heal the overwhelming tides of plague victims and the legion's giant insects who feast on the dead travel deep into the darkness to bring the world back to light or die trying. Wick was developed by Studio Whip, a group of students at Florida Interactive Entertainment Ac Ac Academy, uh, FIEA, over the course of eight months. So, yeah, like, it's a free game on Steam, too, mind you. Uh, I didn't think it was a full game, or, you know, a full student project. Okay, it's just starting again. Um, but I would say... What would make the game 100% better, as, as someone for me who looks for not always having narrative or commentary or having a, you know, a game spoon-feed you the story, but I think in games like this, uh, a soothing voice narration would complete the game. Like, someone being, you know, like, you can picture, right? Like, an old person being like, the young, you know, the young candlestick now moving through the cathedral and trying to light the way to fucking blah, blah, blah. Hmm. And just, like, here and there, not too much voice acting, but just a little bit of an old, wise-sounding man explaining the candles, the candle wick, or gene wicks, uh you know, inner monologue because it can't talk itself. So have it if you had it so the dude that just died from leprosy or whatever at the start of the game maybe like talks on behalf of the candle. Maybe even if it doesn't make any sense. I think just narration would make the game uh, you know, more complete experience. Um but it has to be an old wise man or just old man. But uh, maybe people understand what I'm trying to say. Maybe people agree. But uh, do you agree with me saying it's incomplete without a narration in this sense? Because usually a game like this, I'd say, it's... I don't know. I, I just feel like narration, maybe some people might think, well, if you add narration, maybe it'd become cliched or 
too stereotypical of games similar to this genre where it's like you know it's about the adventure and not the objective maybe or not the ending but I, f I just really really strongly feel like narration alongside the adventure would sort of keep you tied in as to what the purpose is or what's going on if they, if they explain to me so I don't have to read the game store page like imagine a player who just does not read the game store page like I didn't and you narrate what is happening like you tell me that Mara is a nun who succumbed to the despair I explain that in a narration with an old man telling me that it probably would have been you know so much better then I wouldn't be like what the fuck am I doing where am I going why am I going what's going on who the fuck is this bitch why is she obsessed over putting my candle out but not all the other candles I light in the cathedral like I light all the cathedral candles if she doesn't like cathedral candles being lit, then she'd be putting out every single candle that I lit. But she's only obsessing over the the moving candle. It doesn't make too much sense if we're going to think about the structure or consistency here. Or else she'd be obsessing, obsessively blowing out all candles. Because it's if she's supposed to be the antagonist to our adventure, then our objective being light all candles in the cathedral, as they put in the game store page. Travel deep into the darkness to bring the world back to the light or die trying with his quest to restore hope to a dying world to fill cathedral with light so yeah the antagonist objective would be blowing out all the lights that we light to oppose us not just us if she puts us out that's just one candle but we're lighting hundreds of candles by the end of the game and she just ignores them and just obsessively knows where the fuck I'm going uh, I don't know. But if that consistency were cleared up in given narration, even if it's just a student project, I'm, then it would be a much more complete and better product uh, as an end result. Well, that's just my opinion. Let me know in the comments below if you agree or disagree. I mean, either way, leave a comment down below if you enjoyed. Um, wait, shit, I ruined my outro by saying that shit. Yeah, no, okay. But if you enjoyed, hey, please leave a like comment down below. Oh, wait, what? I'm having a brain fart again with my outro. What the fuck? Uh, if you enjoyed, please hit a like. Hit, hit like? Man, this is a weird brain fart. Fuck. Man, if you enjoyed, like, comment, hit the subscribe button, become a full subscriber. That's it. <laughs> and hit that bell notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching. Till the next time. Mm.